Hey everybody. Uh, yeah, I didn't know where to start. Oh, I could start in the infinite regression. We haven't been in the infinite regression in a long time. Shout out to those of you who remember. Anyway, infinite regression. Uh, it takes a little getting used to to look at it. Uh, but here's the deal. Um, I am giving away some more Steam keys, whole bunch of them, as a matter of fact, because I got a whole bunch of them on the cheap, and uh, yeah, I took some for myself, uh, gave a couple to my kids, the ones they wanted, uh, but I am left with a significant amount left over, because like, my kids have me for a dad, so I've given them so many games, entirely too many games. Uh, because I'm familiar with a lot of games because I have a stupidly large library. It, yeah, I've told the story entirely too many times on this channel. I need to just have an official version that I can just link to so people will be like, oh, okay, that makes sense. Anyway, regardless, the point is that, uh, yeah, when I buy these Steam keys, I am looking out for myself as well uh you know but but i also do a thing where i try not to like if i have a lot of a certain type of game i might be like you know what I, i've got like 15 types of this game i'm good i you know i can pass along the riches anyway uh so here i'm gonna switch it because it's kind of creepy look it out into the infinite regression um but yeah, we'll look at this banner thing that I made uh, that is the thumbnail for the video that you are currently watching. Um, all of the things that you see here, all of these uh, bookmarks are Steam games that I have codes for that I am giving away. Uh, and so all you have to do, all you need to do is to send me an email uh that's how we're gonna do it this time because a lot of you uh reached out and were like hey i would like to do this a different way um you know could we do some sort of a drawing and that's totally fair uh so yeah that is exactly what we're gonna do so um anyway uh yeah i Email me which games you are interested in. Uh, try not to choose too many. <laughs> I think three is a good number. Like, focus on the, like, three games that you want. And then everybody can put in. And then, uh, hopefully, we'll diversify. There are a diverse number of games and types of games out there. So that everybody can get a little bit of something. So, uh, with all that said, email me again. The email address should be on the screen now if I do my editing correctly, which is a big ask. <laughs> I'm not always great at the editing, but if I've done my editing correctly, it is on screen now. Anyway, uh, so let's look at what these games are that I'm giving away. Uh, first up... Dark Deity, this one said that it had multiple games in the bundle, uh, but it looks RPG-ish. Um, yeah, but it, it doesn't look, uh, you know, it does not look uh, RPG Maker-ish. It, and it looks like an interesting sort of uh, strategy RPG style that's flipping back and forth between these anime styles and then these 16-bit styles. So yeah, you know, that that's what that one looks like. Uh, seems interesting, but I, I am playing my way through several 16-bit uh, RPGs right now. So yeah, my life is full. I am good. So if you want this one, Dark Deity, uh, make it one of the three that you ask for when you email me. Uh, yeah, and I will show my email again. I will have it. Uh, I probably shouldn't put it in the notes. That would be a bad idea. I will put it on screen multiple times. 
so that you uh, can see it and know whom to email and ask for things. Um, anyway, so yeah, Dark Deity, that is one. Uh, next up is Unloved, and this is based off of a Doom 2 mod. Uh, beware, it is very violent and gory. Uh, it is rated M for the Maturely's, so do not put in for this one if you are underaged. Uh, I don't know that I have a lot of underaged fans, but like, uh, yeah, or subscribers, that's what they're called. Fans, I think, is uh, pushing it a bit much, uh, but whatever. Anyway, people who watch my videos, uh, which would be subscribers, people who subscribe mostly. Uh, anyway, so yeah, look at how insanely violent that is. And if that seems like something you can handle, then unloved. Um, yeah, boomer shooters having a resurgence. And so, yeah, some of these like super violent ones um, is the thing. This is one I was kind of surprised uh, that no one in my family wanted it because like it seems there is a really good uh if you ever watch the channel, uh, game it out, let's game it out. That guy is hilarious. And he did a, an episode of this game that is laughably silly. Uh, but anyway, yeah, it's this legit game where you do all of the crafting and lore and eventually like spell crafteries and whatnot to create uh, magical mystical weapons to then sell to then get more materials for your shop and so like you get to put these swords and stuff together piece by piece and decide how they go so yeah fantasy blacksmith um <laughs> yeah if you want to know more about it that episode of let's game it out uh yeah hilarious anyway and, and it looks like a pretty cool game uh Creepy Tale 2. Uh, yeah, so this is... There are a few puzzle adventure type games. Point and clicky type. I don't think this one's point and click. But are you playing? Okay, it is. Uh, yeah, this is a hand-drawn art style. Uh, sort of, you know, spookity wookity adventure type game. Um, but spooky wookie of a certain sort. You know, uh, I, I feel like I have a couple of games of this type and I feel like I've reviewed some games of this type on this channel before. Yeah. See, there's some spooky ghostesses, some goblins, some spiders. So it's, uh, you know, the, it's a survival horror type thing. But it's not as horrific as some survival horror -y type games. But it's still, you know, uh, you're a kid creeping around uh, trying to stay alive and uh, objectives, whatever those happen to be. Um, oh, Ludus. This one uh, looked pretty cool, but I know myself to know that uh, this is not something that I'm particularly well suited for, but basically you are building up like you're, it's for, uh, gladiators. So like you're trying to run, I, I don't think you are the gladiator, but I think you're like trying to create a successful stable. Maybe, no, you apparent, yeah, the, that's the spectator camera and whatnot. So, like, yeah, I think you just build up a stable of dudes. So, it's like um, those, like, how people love FIFA's manager version, <laughs> which, I, I don't know, I've always been more like, I'd rather be the guy with the sword. Just, you know, hack it and slash it with the sword. That's why I play hack and slash. Uh, but yeah, there's like a whole world of ancient Rome out there and, oh yes, free the large slave and then give him all of the potions and then, 
uh, dress him up like one of those terrifying gladiators and then give him some barbaric weapon, like a hook, you know, big old meat hook or some nonsense anyway. But yeah, that's what you're doing. You're, you're putting together your dream team of gladiators. Apparently I, I could be wrong about exactly what the game is, but like that is the broad strokes as I understand them. Anyway, Ludus if you want uh, to take a look. Uh, Dark is another, like, yeah, little boy finds himself in a lucid nightmare. It's uh, it's creepy. This one's way more creepy. Uh, so, yeah, it's like a creepy, weird, cinematic, um, you know, adventure. Yeah, you get that sort of... Uh, Oh, what's that guy? The, the the artist who drew all the patterns. And MC Escher, that's my favorite MC. Yeah, I just had to think of Weird Al lyrics to remember the name of MC Escher. Because, yeah, they see him rolling. They hating. Everybody thinks he's too white and nerdy. Anyway... Uh, regardless, but yeah, like really cool perspective stuff and like, you know, it looks like you're bringing a little bit of like the Captain Toad treasure tracker into the world of, um, survival horror, which like, if that's your jam, then like this is right up your alley then. Cause yeah, neither of those things appeal to me that much if I'm being perfectly honest, uh, but yeah, um, anyway, but, but if you want it dark with a Q, um, stasis, stasis is another, we got another horror game on us, but this is an isometric, uh, point and click in space. So like a, a dead spacey type thing, nine out of 10, for IGN, wait, mandatory for fans of which I didn't read the of sci-fi horror. Okay, yes, indeed. Uh, people like this one apparently. Uh, yeah, stop telling me who liked it and start showing me game footage. Is that should I click this one instead? Anyway, oh, that's giving me the, the noises. I, I know that, like, some of you would prefer if I would play the noises rather than me talking over it, but I don't want to get content matched on all the things, so, uh, yeah. Or, what's worse is that they will completely blank out the sound on things, uh, but yeah, this looks like a, you know, isometric, dead spacey type, uh, type of game, so stasis, there you go. Uh, cool and creepy in space. All right. Uh, the Dark Eye Memoria. This one is a point and click puzzle adventure, um, which has a cool, like, uh, yeah, my daughter almost grabbed this one. She really liked the art style, but then she was like, no, no, point and click, which like some people really love point and click stuff. My wife and her parents were all really, really into the Monkey Island games at the same time. And that's like one of their great family memories is like, remember when we all played Monkey Island together? Yeah. So like it's if you like uh, you know, point and click type adventures that are interesting and inventive and have cool art styles, then yeah, this is what it is. The Dark Eye Memoria. I just like, with the number of games that I have, I try not to take on ones like there's probably a lot of gameplay in this game. You know, there's probably, like, a decently long story and whatnot. And it's like, man, with all the RPGs that I've given myself to get through, like, yeah, I I need to know myself and know not to pick up too many games that, like, are going to go underloved in my library because I've got too much other stuff. So, 
yeah, a lot of these games, like, I don't, it's not that I wouldn't enjoy them. It's that I don't have that kind of time. Like this one I actually looks super cool. And uh, this is, what's it called again? Dust to the End. And this looks like uh, a Fallout 1, Fallout 2 kind of a game. So, like, it is a large, you know, Fallout-type world. Uh, and you are, yeah, RPGing it up. Turn-based RPGing it up in a Fallout-like situation. So, yeah, it's it looks pretty cool, actually. At, except for, like... I I just I don't have the kind of time that it would take to play this um and to love it as much as I think it probably deserves. So, you know, yeah, dust to the end. Funny because a lot of these things are actually on sale right now with the spring sale. Apologies, somebody did ask me about that. They were like, "Hey, are you going to do spring sale video?" and I was like, "Oh, I can't." I don't have that kind of time, unfortunately. Not right now. Like, spring and fall, because I'm a teacher. And so, like, spring and fall. Like, yeah, it would tend to be, you know, gearing up and gearing down. Like, you know, trying to get things going and trying to wrap things up. You know, and, and, and put a tight bow on things. So, like, yeah, it's actually, it, it can be pretty busy, you know. Anyway, um, so yeah, just knowing how things are, I, I, I wouldn't have time for this kind of a thing, uh, to like go through and look through, even though I databased everything, which saves a lot of time still though, still though, uh, to go through everything and, uh, get it ready for steam sale videos. Those things take time. They really do. And uh, I just, yeah. I get, sorry, I got to pause for a moment. Uh, feel free to skip ahead a little bit. But I, I just need to say something channel-wise. Like, this channel got a little bit neglected um, over the last couple of weeks. And that was not on purpose. It's just that I've been chasing one of my other passions, one of my other hobbies. And I had this grand idea that I was going to like, oh yeah, I have, because I do have another channel uh, that is like woefully neglected um, and always has been. Actually, I have two other channels, but the other one uh, you don't get to know about. <laughs> Sorry apologies it's uh yeah not for public consumption uh we'll just put it that way uh one of you knows what i mean and that's it uh <laughs> but the other one my i have a a music channel which i like i love music it's one of my favorite things in the entire world and it's something that i know a fair bit about and yet I've done a terrible job with that channel. And so, um, yeah, I, I got another video uploaded to my music channel. Uh, but like, <laughs> it's kind of feast or famine. I, I don't want to send people over there, uh, because of how inconsistently I'm posting over there. Um, but yeah, it turned into posting inconsistently here because I had this grand vision about like rejuvenating that channel as a different type of thing, uh, where I could do a whole bunch of, a whole variety of different things there. But like, I, I just don't have the time. It's just not going to work. And there are guys who can do the types of things that I wanted to do and whose channels I watch and enjoy. And I found out about myself this week. I am not that guy. <laughs> like, I, I just do not have 
the ability to do that on a regular schedule. I just can't. It just not and do this at the same time and have a job. So like, yeah, I was spreading myself too thin. And uh, when I work too hard at my hobbies, because this is a hobby for me, you know, this is not, I'm not trying to make a living doing this. I'm just doing it because I enjoy it. Uh, so yeah, like if you're here and you've enjoyed what I do, thank you. Like, thank you for being here for this. Um, but also understand that like, if there's an investment of time, it's coming out of the other things I want to do with my life. Uh, so like, and I'm trying more now to live a richer, fuller, better life, uh, than I was where we were living before, you know, I'm trying to live more for myself, uh, because what I was doing before was, you know, giving too much of myself to other people, to people that I cared about, to my students specifically. Uh, and even though like, I will miss meaning to them what I meant to them and vice versa. Like I still have students now and we've got pretty good relationships, you know, uh, n not quite what it was before, but like, also I get to have my own life, uh, which I have not had for a while. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, what I'm getting at is that, um, when it comes time for me to put in above and beyond for my hobbies, um, they start to feel like work and I already have enough work, you know? So like, I'm going to only do the things for my channels that don't feel like work. You know, and, and that's why I don't spend a tremendous amount of time uh, promoting and being like, like the click and click the like and the subscribe and bell that ding a ling and here we go. You know, and, and I mean, I, I probably could get more people interested if I did, but like, I don't know, that seems too, like, <laughs> it, it's counter to the type of person that I am. So uh, if you're here and you like it, good here's some free games. <laughs> so that's what we're going at. Anyway, sorry for the whole jag there, but yeah, I, I did intend to make a separate video, but then again, time, energy, effort, <laughs> like I, sorry, there, there's only so much in that bucket that I can uh, keep dipping back and bringing stuff up. Anyway, uh, Okay, interrogation, you will be deceived. See, I just forge on as if uh, I wasn't in the middle of telling you a whole bunch about myself. Uh, anyway, but this one looked really cool. It is, it, it, uh, you know, kind of a uh, make your choices, investigate the case, uh, you know, pointy, clicky type of thing. Uh, but yeah, like... I, I like the art style. I, I like the way it looks and feels. It looks really interesting. Um, anyway, I again, it's one that seems like it would take a while to solve the case and everything, and you'd have to get very involved into it. And, like, yeah. <laughs> with what time, with what spare time shall I do this? Um, yeah. <laughs> This is why I have a lot of platformers in my library. Because, uh, like, you can get to the end of those. Um, oh, this is a game I do have. Oh, but yeah. Interrogation, you will be deceived. Uh, put it in if it sounds cool to you. Uh, Grand Mountain Adventure. Uh, yeah, cool snowboarding game. Like, just look at it. It's the only game of this type that appears uh yeah anyway so does it do skiing as well yeah i guess it does uh but skiing snowboarding and doing all kinds of cool tricks and stunts and whatnots 
uh, racing down that mountain and uh, racking up score points for doing cool tricks and jumps and not hurting yourself in the process. Yeah, it's it's one of them games. And it's, uh, I honestly, I have not played it yet because I have a lot of games in my library as we've talked about. Uh, but I do intend to play it because I have it because it looks cool. Um, and I don't remember if I bought it or if I got it in one of these packs of keys, but either way, like, uh, it is a game that I intentionally did want. So, uh, yeah, Grand Mountain Adventure Wonderlands, uh, looks pretty cool. This one, uh, Hero of the Kingdom, there are a lot of these games. It's a whole series I did not know about. Uh, but yeah, you're out there doing like, I'm lost everything, my house is ruined. Uh, but yeah, like, it's old school RPG with like resource management and stuff like that. It's, uh, yeah, <laughs> looks kind of interesting. Um, I don't know much about this series, but there are apparently multiple because this whole Lost Tales is a side series that has multiple entries in and of itself. So Hero of the Kingdom, I don't know anything about it, but you might. And if it looks cool to you, there you go. Adventure, casual, indie, RPG, isometric. <laughs> Those... <coughs> Those are the things. So, yeah, we got to pick up some steam. We got a whole bunch more games to get to. Uh, Biped, this one, I'm just, I'm not good at playing with others. I'm just not. Uh, I don't video game well <laughs> cooperatively uh, or competitively. I just, I prefer to lone wolf it. I'm all about the single player experience. Um, I don't know why this is the way that it is, but it very much is. And so, yeah, whatever you do, do it together. So it's one of those, like, explore the world with your quirky little characters and, uh, you know, solve puzzles and make it through obstacles and uh, overcome challenges, but doing it together, you know, where that is the... Uh, the goal is that both of you be engaged working together on problems and issues that you come across. Anyway, I, I know there are people who like this kind of stuff. This to me is a nightmare. Like I don't do well with this kind of stuff. I don't know why I'm just not good at playing video games cooperatively or competitively with other people. I guess I could just say with other people, full stop. Uh, so yeah, biped, if, if you're a normal type person, unlike myself, then go get it. Um, this is another one, White Noise 2, uh, where it's a scary, scary type. But this one, the interesting thing is that you can play, yeah, uh, I think I rec recognize, um, th this look like a source game to y'all. This looks saucy to me. Anyway, uh, regardless, uh, the, the thing is that, um, yeah, you can either play as the people trying to thwart the evil alien that's trying to kill everybody or you can play as the evil alien that's trying to kill everybody. So, yeah, it, it, you can play either side of it. So that that seems interesting. It is another multiplayer. So there you go. Um, if, if you like those kind of things. Uh, Farabelle, this one looked interesting to me. Because, yeah, go back in time and progress backwards. What? <coughs> Sorry. I try not to sneeze or cough uh, on the microphone, but like, 
yeah, I already had the footage rolling and I was like, oh no, I can't pause both the recording and the footage. Uh, anyway, regardless. Yeah, so it looks, yeah, oh, right. Yeah, this is the one where it's a hex grid. It's a turn-based strategy with a time-turning element that's done on a hex grid. So that's interesting. Um, yeah. So if that looks cool to you, uh, it's called Farabell. Uh, heaven Dust. This one looks like it says Dust Heaven. My son, when he looked at it, he was like, is that Heaven Dust or Dust Heaven? And I'm like, I, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, the awful silence came up. And there's no way out of this mansion. Yeah, you play as a little kid and uh, you're trying to get out of the spooky wookies. It's a survival horror, um, but it's uh, 3D. Uh, yeah, of all the survival horrors we've seen, not all of them. Oh, that's creepy. Uh, <laughs> we're going to go away from a uh, little veiny head. Um, but yeah. It's, uh, yeah, horrible zombies, deadly traps, yeah, and, and you're just a kid trying to stay alive and make your way. So, heaven dust. Dust heaven. Uh, yeah. The Night of the Rabbit. This is another, like, this is very positively rated. Um, it's, yeah, from the creators of the Deponia series, which is... A very successful point and click adventure series that I just don't buy because I'm like, I don't know. Like, everybody is like, oh my God, Deponia, it's such a great series. And I'm like, I just, I'm sorry, point and click, I don't know that I have the time. Uh, like, I even have the remastered version of Day of the Tentacle in my library. Uh, and I also have that emulated in DOSBox, the original. Um, but have I played it? No, I have not. <laughs> like, I recognize the quality of the games, but I just, I never get around, I never get around to playing the point and click type games because they require the type of patience that I rarely have <laughs> when I'm gaming. So, it's a problem. It's my problem. Anyway, uh, Night of the Rabbit, it looks really cool. Has a sort of, you know, Don Bluthy kind of a uh, art style. Anyway, pretty cool looking. Uh, so, Night of the Rabbit, if that's your kind of thing. Oh, Bot Vice. Yeah. I don't remember why I didn't grab this one. Looks super fun. It's basically like, uh, oh, dang, what's that game? Oh, there's a game on the NES, and I can't think of it. Uh, oh, it's kind of like Operation Wolf on the NES. Yeah, that's the one I was thinking of. A little bit like Operation Wolf, only um, it's 16-bit instead of 8-bit. And, uh, yeah it's more bullet hellish so it's a little bullet hell shooter so yeah if you want a cool looking 16 bit bullet hell shooter bot vice um the oil blue it's funny because my wife loves this is a like um how you say uh it's a management sim. And so, like, you are managing oil. It's like an oil rig. An oil derrick. And you are, uh, yeah, you're making the thing go. And that's your job. And so you get all these, like, old school looking dials and knobs and whatnot. And you're just trying to keep everything uh, operating smoothly. So, yeah, um, sheer gaming bliss, hard not to lose hours of your life. Like, yeah, I don't, I don't play this kind of game. 
Uh, my wife does, but she's also extremely particular about the type of games. Like I do not buy her games anymore <laughs> because I bought her several games that she and I both know she will never play. Uh, so yeah, I just don't anymore. Um, but yeah, it's a, um, strategy management sim type of game. Siberia 2, they're always giving this game to me. I don't know anything about it. I have it in my library already. And then like the Russians bought it for me. I had it in my library prior to it being in every uh, pack of games that I buy. I think that something happened to this developer and they just ended up, but this is a point and click puzzle type game. Having searched Eastern and Western Europe for a missing heir, Kate Walker finally completed her long and arduous journey, obtaining the signature of Hans Vorlberg and closing the automaton factory buyout. Uh, okay. Indeed. And apparently you get to, like, ride on a snow machine at some point. Uh, which it's funny because if you're from the places where they don't have these, it's called a snowmobile. And if you live in the places where they do, it's called a snow machine. It's hilarious. Anyway, uh, but yeah, Siberia 2. It's a game. Uh, it's a point and click adventure. It looks nice. It is uh, very positively reviewed. I keep getting copies of it and I feel like I'm giving it away forever and it makes me wonder, but then I see that it's very positively reviewed and then I'm like, oh, people do like this game. Like over a thousand people like this game. So yeah, it's probably a good game. Anyway, I feel like I'm not selling this one very well. It's just, I have gotten multiple copies of this game. Uh, anyway. Internet Cafe Simulator 2. This is a, uh, yeah, it's got them sweet GTA-ish graphics. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, but yeah, you run an internet cafe. That's the deal. And so, like, you start from nothing and you're, uh, building up this little internet cafe and, uh, there you go. You got a sweet computer. Got view. <laughs> Wait, was that girl? Was one girl holding a VR ha a handset and the other one holding bananas? Wait, what? Hold up. Why? Yeah, she's got. Okay, I guess I don't understand this game, but I'm guessing it is definitely. M for mature, <laughs> uh, because of some of the things I saw there. So not for the children's, but internet cafe simulator two. Uh, yeah, <laughs> looks interesting. Um, oh, looking for aliens. This one, uh, is it's a cute little game that looks like yep, right there, boop. It looks like. Um, oh, uh, hey, anyway, boop, <laughs> she got two heads. Oh, it's E.T. in a backpack. Um, but anyway, it's like, where's Waldo, but in space, <laughs> you know? So, yeah, it's looks interesting it is a hidden object game but it looks a little more like there are so many hidden object games that are just like the most boring thing in the world that just oh man could not look more boring to me most hidden object games but this one um actually looks pretty cool uh, I like the art style and I like the idea that like, no, nah, you're, you're the one finding the aliens hidden among us anyway. Uh, oh yeah. Here's a really good game, uh, that I purchased for myself. Uh, not in one of these packs. I bought it, uh, outright. 
um grip is a racing game um that is uh yeah this like cool tunnel style upside down gravity combat type racing so like cool futuristic racing and these cars that can flip upside down and stuff and yeah it's it's a whole thing um and shooty shoot shoot so like yeah it looks pretty awesome um and so yeah i bought this for myself i haven't played it yet but i have seen a lot of footage of it i chose this very intentionally uh to scratch a certain itch that i occasionally get for racing type games but not racing games that are too like uh i i don't go for the simulator -y simulator racing games i go more for the arcadey arcade type and this is definitely that anyway uh so yeah grip um, up next, Dragon Spirits. This one looked pretty cool because basically you are a guy who is working on the concept of a role-playing game. And then you find yourself like inside the game. Um, so you're both giving life to the game and playing the game. It's a whole deal, uh rpg-ish uh japanese style and it it goes pretty deep anyway very positively rated even though it's not too incredibly known but the idea seems really interesting so dragon spirits um the ascent i already own this one like that's why with this one is that i already own it because I love isometric shooters and there are not enough of them in the world and the Alien Breed trilogy are the best and this one is, um, yeah, it, it's a similar vibe. Some people have said it's too short, um, you know, and that's if that's the complaint is that like, oh, it's really good. It just doesn't go on for long enough. Like all right, I'd leave them wanting more. <laughs> that's, that's fine by me. Um, anyway, I don't know how short it is. I haven't played it all the way through, but it is mostly positively rated with like 16,000 ratings. So yeah, it, it is a high quality isometric shooter and the world needs those. Um, Try Fox, uh, this is a twin stick shooter action adventure platformy type game. So twin sticky and platformy. Um, yeah. And, and, uh, really interesting art style. I saved this one assuming my kids would take it and they didn't. And then I was like, well, I guess I'll just give it away then. Um, yeah. Okay, uh, Tyrant's Blessing looks like... It, it's funny because when I was showing this one, uh, my son was like, oh, so it's just Fire Emblem, basically. And I was like, no, not exactly, but I mean, kind of yes. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it, I did not know that my son knew about Fire Emblem, but that's how I learned is by showing him this. Uh, and, and he was like, well, I already can play Fire Emblem in emulation, so I don't need it. And I was like, okay. And, and my thing is that like, I am currently playing through all the Final Fantasies. Then I'm going to play all the Zeldas then I'm going to play all the Disgaea games, which luckily that is the shortest series of the three. <laughs> um, but it's not made any shorter by the fact that they are tactical RPGs. And so, yeah, this is a tactical RPG. And 
it looks pretty cool. I just, I don't have time for another tactical RPG in my life. Mostly positively rated. So if you want a tactical RPG, Tyrant's Blessing. Um, X-Morph Defense. Okay, I... <sighs> I don't know what it is about me, but I don't really do tower defense. But this one, I actually have in my library already. And my son has this game also because I gave him a copy. Um, but this one, you play both the tower for the tower defense and you get to fly your ship as part of see there's yeah um so you are helping set up the defenses see ship setting up defenses and then also you can hop in the action and shoot at the enemy yourself like you always want to do but can never actually do when you're playing tower defense and it's the one thing that drives me the most crazy about tower defense is that I would always rather be in the ship. And so, yeah, this game addresses the one biggest problem that I have with the entire tower defense genre is that, sorry, I just want to shoot at the enemy myself rather than like designing the defenses that will do the shooting for me, you know? Uh, but in this game, you get to do both. So it's it's pretty cool. Uh, my son has made it most of the way through this game, and he really likes it. I have watched him play it. <laughs> so I have not played it yet, but yeah, seems super cool. X-Morph Defense. Last but not least, and sorry that this is 46 minutes of your life, um, Zombie Driver HD. So yeah, these are the games. These are the games. And, uh, Zombie Driver HD is exactly what it sounds like. Uh, and it looks pretty cool. But, um, yeah, I just, uh, it's not the kind of game that I'm looking to play right now. And I do have... I'm pretty sure I've got at least two zombie driving games or zombie vehicle games. I'm pretty sure. I've got zombies on a plane, <laughs> which you can fly the plane with the zombies. Anyway, uh, very different from this, but I do have that game. That's what I immediately thought of. Um, but anyway, yeah, Zombie Driver HD. Um, and I believe the version that, uh, the steam key is for comes with DLC as well. I think, um, could be wrong, but I, I believe it's so anyway. So ladies, gentlemen, people's persons, if you would like any of these games, I am showing you my email address on screen again. Um, email me. Uh, try to choose, like, uh, not more than three games, unless, of course, like, uh, y y you absolutely are like, oh, but, but there's exactly four that I like. Okay, fine. Uh, I can be very forgiving. I just don't want everybody to be like, put me in for every game. Because I had that happen once, and then someone won, like, every game. The same person won every game, and I was like, oh, that's, uh, whew, boy. Uh, and then he never claimed them, uh, and that drove me crazy. So, by you emailing me first, you are giving me your email <laughs> so that I can send you the key. I will never send you anything else. I will not sell your email I'm actually a little concerned about giving out my own email for that exact reason. So, uh, yeah, I'm just a dude. I am not, yeah, pushing anything or trying to do anything other than to say that, like, thank you for following my channel. And also, like, I'm trying to spread the love. Uh, 
I think it's a fun thing to do to like buy a big old pack of steam keys and then give away the ones that you don't want because like chances are if it's a decent game which I do buy the packs that are intentionally like no they have to have this high of a rating uh in order to be accepted as a giveawayable game um which means that I'm giving away games that people do like uh which is ideal because I'd rather give away ones that people like than ones that people don't uh but it means that like you know with my particular tastes in gaming uh and your particular tastes in gaming between the two of us like we can uh find homes for all the games so it's just as much about me making smart use of keys that I'm not going to use as it is me giving away games to people who will hopefully play them and enjoy them, which is the entire point is the games get played. Anyway, people I've blathered on long enough is like an hour of your life now. Uh, <laughs> So I'm making you be horrifically dedicated. If you really want to, I, I will index this video. How about that? I will index it so that you can make it through in a reasonable amount of time. But uh, anyway, thank you, people. I hope you enjoy the games. Uh, email me. I will put all the emails together in a uh, group. And then uh, I into groups for the individual games that I'm giving away. And then I will do a uh, spin the wheel or a name randomizer. I'll find one that's good for giveaways. Uh, I have used a couple different ones. I haven't been entirely satisfied with them. I'll, I'll find something that's really good at randomizing uh, is my promise to you. Anyway, so we'll randomize it, we'll give these things away, and hopefully you win. Hopefully you win a couple. Anyway, people, thank you, thank you. That's going to do it for this one. I will see you in the next one. Okay, bye.